Hello, good evening. Hello, people. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Mario. How's everything? How have you been? It was a long time since the last time we had a class, right? Have, have you been sleeping good, mister? These past two days? Oh, very. <laughs> Yeah, Let's just put in a second. Really? Really? Is it is it me or you? Let's 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 see. Uh People, do you listen to me like like with an interruption? No, I think it's me, but inclusive is the ralentiza the image and stays there. Ah, ah, okay, all right. Yes, I think so. Yes, I don't know if you can hear me. That little interruption. All right, people. Ah, uh, so good evening, everybody. Um. I am really sorry about the classes we have lost yesterday and the day before yesterday, specifically Monday and yesterday, Tuesday. But I was like kind of uh, disabled to, to, you know, like to be here with you guys. And the thing is that, uh, I don't know if you remember that I told you last week but I was uh, with a uh, horrible pain in one of my tooth, right? So what I did is like on a Sunday, I went to the doctor, you know, like to check the, the, the molar. Quiero usar. And basically uh, I had to take it away and uh, I need a surgery. So, básicamente, eh, tuvieron que practicarme una cirugía para extraerme una de las malas que me estaba molestando. Uh, no sé si recuerdan que la, la semana pasada ya me estaba presentando problemas. Entonces, por eso estaba un tanto indispuesto el, el lunes y sí, pues ayer igual. Pero ya, pues, digamos que con medicación ya me siento un poco mejor y pues ya lessons for a continuar, you know, like with the process and not have this delay. So, but I would like to know people, are you really there? Are you on the way home? Are you getting home yet? Are you on the way home? Hello, Gabriel. Uh, is still working? Uh, okay. All right. If you don't listen to me, guys, please um let me know, okay? Because in here it is raining very hard, and I barely listen to you, okay? So please, if you don't listen to me, tell me. All right. Okay, so let's just start with the attendance list. Let's just start up with the class. Uh, Gabriel Esau. I am, he's right on his court. Guadalupe Noemi. Uh, I'm here. Okay. 
Yep. It is a Julian. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, Jose Moises. Present. Maribel. Present. Carla Ivania. Carla Ivania, are you there? No, I guess you're there. All right. Okay, Carla. Uh, Carla Lorena. I don't know. I saw you. Catherine Guadalupe. Catherine. Okay. Kevin Ramiro. Kevin, are you there? Okay. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Maria Elena. Maria Elena Linares Diaz. Okay. Just getting connected. So we're going to get a couple of minutes. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. Marilyn Alejandra. All right. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. Monica Maricela. Monica Maricela, are you there, Monica? Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, Oscar Armando. Oscar. Okay. Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Roberto Junior. All right. Good. You got problems with the audio again, Roberto? <laughs> All right, you know what to do now, right? Okay, Ruth Guadalupe. Uh, Ruth, are you there? Mm. No, please. Santos Cristina. Santos Cristina, okay, and the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. No, okay. All right. There you go, people. So just remember to tonight, basically, it's going to be our video conference number five with tonight's topic or topics in our way. Um, we are going to be finishing week number one, all right? The week that we were supposed to be finishing on Monday, but you know, like problems were coming and that's why we're just gonna finish in uh, today. All right, so just give me one second. I'm gonna show you a presentation about what we're going to be doing. We're going to have a lot of practice, mostly uh, in feedback, general feedback, from the main topics that we have been discussing 
ver un beso. This is going to be the presentation that we are going to do this custom. So let's remember this is the video conference number five. And tonight's topic is going to be just vocabulary and practice. What does it mean? It means people that we are going to be discussing the main topics, all right? that we have been discussing during the four uh, classes before, all right? That's what we are going to be just discussing tonight. Uh, I hope you can help me out with participations, all right? And uh, you can, you know, like, can this with in a good way. All right, let's just start away. That's the most relevant that we're going to have for the class. Right. Uh, well, as this is just a general feedback from the classes, right? This is just like the, the, the review from the main topics that we have been discussing this past four classes. And the first thing that we're going to be, you know, like discussing and remembering, it's about countable nouns and uncountable nouns. That was the first topic that we were discussing, you know, at the beginning of this week. Then the next topic that we are going to be discussing is going to be the use of have to, then has to, to show what? To show obligation, right? Just to show obligation. Then we got uh, a topic 10, if I remember. We were discussing about the use of the pen, but not in particular stand. Remember, we use can in this case for information and for realism. Right? Those were the two uses that we were discussing about this uh, specific verb. And this was the last topic that we were discussing last uh, Friday. All right, that was basically the use of be going to. Uh, how to use this description for future action. All right, so let's just start over. Good, let's just start out with this topic countable and uncountable nouns. All right, guys, what do you remember about this topic? Let's just start, uh, you know, like making a brief. Um, Summary about what you remember about this topic using countable and uncountable noun. Any volunteer? Algún voluntario antes de yo decidir quién puede participar? How many? How much? Okay, yeah. She will discuss in uh -huh, how many and how much with this one. But in other words, what is, or oh, in this case, what are countable nouns? Que son nombres contables? Can somebody tell me the definition that we were practicing about countable nouns? All right. Primero que nada, y aunque sea con un pulgar, por favor me indican quiénes son los que están meramente en la clase y quiénes están trabajando, por favor. Solo veo a Guadalupe y a Mario con cámara activa. Y los demás que no sé si están ahí. Or, you know, you still have an idea. Are you really there, people? All right, only Kevin and Luis, los demás están trabajando. All right, 
I guess no working. Oh yeah. So I can start over with this. Okay. If you remember before countable nouns, we are referring to this topic as nouns that we generally count. Right? Are those type of nouns that we generally can count them? All right. As examples like we got in here. And so take a look at this example. All of them are nouns that we generally can count them. Okay. Judith, could you please help me out reading those two words? Reading. Uh, are you having the internet problems with it? Hola. Ah, uh, okay. Ahora sí, ya más o menos se lo escucha. Creo que es problema micrófono. Ah. Sí. No, pero ahorita sí se ah. está escuchando bien. Ok. Me dijo, no le escuché muy bien a usted que leyera. Ah, ok. Tell me a reading the example about countable noun. Ok. Cars. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Bottles of water. Bottles of water, cell phones, right. cups okay. of coffee, books, notebooks, jobs. Ah, okay, jobs. All right, there you go. Thank you, Judith. Okay, remember, these type of nouns are nouns that we can generally count, okay? That we can count, for example, so we can say what? One car two cars, three cars, one bottle of water, two bottles of water, three, etc. All right. Uh, one cell phone, two cell phones, and everything. Uh, and something that you have to remember uh, that countable nouns, they always have a plural form. Okay. They always have a plural form. On the other hand, uncountable nouns, they only have a singular form. All right. Good. It's something that we are about to discuss. Check this out. Uncountable nouns. All right. What it says about uncountable nouns. Remember, an uncountable noun, it's basically a noun that we cannot count. Okay. That we cannot count. And what are those nouns that we cannot count them? Uh, Guadalupe. Tell me I'm reading the examples that I got there. Yeah. Money. All right. Price. Okay. Uh, weight, size. Um, uh, the ones that appear here. Uh, uh, the ones that so, are in here. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. It, it, in part, it's, it's, it's true what you're saying, Guadalupe. Thank you. Okay, for example, okay. check it out. We cannot count the water, right? We cannot count the oil, the sugar, sand, as it says there, milk, that's something uncountable. Okay, you cannot count the experience, or you cannot say one experience, two experiences, because it doesn't exist. That is something uncountable all right and then we got the word food the word food is also uncountable okay ya la palabra comida igual cuando nos referimos a comida en general es algo incontable just keep that on mind okay so those ones are like the differences between countable nouns and uncountable nouns remember countable nouns we can count them uncountables we cannot count them and they are always in singular, okay? They are always in singular. All right, let's move on.
Okay, so we've got a series of examples now in context, using the structures as Mario said, I mentioned before, how many and how much. With what nouns can we use how many, Mario? Countable and or uncountables? Uh, how many? How many with no, 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 counter, counter. Ah, I was wondering if I can say how many sugar. Quantas azúcar? Conterrones de azúcar. No, but that, that's different. That's different. That's the different. People, the people are countable. No, yeah, I mean people are uncountable, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Countable nouns is use how many. As you said, right? For example, take a look at this question. Have you been reading, Mario? How many books do you have? Okay, there you go. How many books do you have? Say that out. So I can say, I have two books. In this case, I am giving an answer using a countable noun, right? Or a quantity in this case, right? For example, if I ask uh, what? Judith, Judith, how many cell phones do you have? I have one cell phone. Okay, you got, I have one cell phone. There you go. If I ask Guadalupe, for example, Guadalupe, how many computers do you use to work? I have um, in this two case, computers. Okay, in this case, you will, yes, you will say, I use two computers. Y uso computadoras? Ajá, porque la pregunta era, ¿cuántas computadoras usa para trabajar? Uh, okay. All right. I, I use one computer. Ah, okay. One computer to work. Okay, there you go. And in that case, we're giving what? We're giving an answer using something countable, okay? Good. Take a look at this other example that we got in here. Let me see. Kevin, help me a reading, please. Present teacher. Um, how many, how many students participate in English? Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. How many students practice English? Okay. That is a very interesting question that I can answer with this one. Check this out. Uh, it is. Can you please read the answer? Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> um, 20, 20 students practice English. Okay, thank you, thank you. So basically, what are we doing in that case? Remember, we are providing an answer using a quantity, all right? Good, let's move. Patricia, help me reading this one. How many cell phones does she buy? Okay, good, good. How many cell phones does she buy? Check this one out. I mean, I can, we can give an answer like this. Maria Elena, could you please give me the answer? Read the answer, please. Are you there, Maria Elena? Okay. 
She buys through cell phones. Ah, okay. There you go. It says she buys two cell phones. Okay. So what are we providing in that case? We are providing an answer using a quantity. Okay. Just remember that. So let's remember questions with how many are mostly questions used to provide answers using countable nouns, all right? Only countable nouns. Good. Any question people until here? Alguna pregunta? Nope. Okay. I love when you don't any question because I do have questions for you guys. Let me see. I'm gonna let you copy that thing. Let me know when you finish copying, please. I'm gonna saber cuando terminen de copiar. So I have to move on. Will you finish? Okay. I guess you finish. All right, but before moving on, people, do you listen to me clearly? Me escuchan bien? Yes. Ahorita sí, sí. Yes. Ahorita sí, dice Mario. No, lo siento, es que sí está lloviendo bastante fuerte por esa zona y, y creo que eso nos va a dificultar un poco el audio en algunas ocasiones. Ok, good. Uh, so, since we were practicing that structure, now let's move on to the other one. All right, now, the examples in using how much. So in this case, if how many? We're going to go countable now. So how much is going to be four and countable nine. Okay. That's what it says in here. With uncountable nouns, you generally use how much. Ceci, read this question, please. Um, how much water do you drink? Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, how much water do you think? So in this case, we're talking about something uncountable, remember. So take a look at the answer. It says, I drink a lot of water. So in this case, we can provide an answer using a quantifier. Podemos dar una respuesta usando un Quantifier, no sé si recuerdan esto de módulos anteriores. Estuvimos viendo ya algunos de ellos. El uso de some, any, a lot of, right, much. Okay, that are very important. Más que todo esto se usan para dar ciertas cantidades, ok, eh, que pueden indicar ya sea mucho, demasiado o poco, right. Check this out. Uh, Patricia, tell me I'm reading this one. How much experience do you have? Okay, very really good. How much experience do you have? So in this case, we're talking about experience related to a job or in any kind of activity. 
with this R. So you can say, I have little experience. What do I mean by, by using little experience? So in, the, in this case, in the Spanish, will be, I mean, tengo poca experiencia, right? I have little experience. And we got another one in here. So this one I have. Jorge, help me read this question, please. Okay, teacher. How much money does she have? Okay, very good. How much money does she have? Take this out. And it says, she has $10. En este caso, cuando se refiere a dinero, listen, en la pregunta, pues obviamente es algo incontable. La palabra dinero es incontable. Pero en este caso ya la respuesta sí puede ser contable. ¿Por qué? Porque ya nos estamos refiriendo no en sí a la palabra dinero, sino a la palabra dólares. dólares. So, en este caso, recuerden, y ahí los dólares sí son contables. So I can say, I mean, she has $10. ¿Podemos contestar con un quantifier? Claro que sí. Por ejemplo, she has a lot of money. She has a lot of money. All right. She has what, some money. Okay. También podemos responder de esa manera. Pero ya de esa manera, estamos siendo un tanto no tan específicos. And in here, you see... Uh, something, you know, like as a quantity, we are being very specific. Okay, good. This type of question is very common to be asked, okay? Like, how much money do you have? So in that case, you might say, I mean, I have $1, I have $10, I have $100. You see, in that case, the answer can be countable, all right? Good. I think this topic is been okay with you guys. It's something that you really managed very good. So we are not going to stop that much in here. Okay, good. Now, taking in consideration that in here, we just use uncountable nouns. Can you guys please help me out with an example question? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo de pregunta, por favor, usando uncountable? And of course, using the structure, how much? Could you give me one example, please? Write it down, and then let me know when you finish. Me teacher. Okay. Um, how much uh, pays do you have? How much? Pays do you have? By pays, you mean pagos? <laughs> no. O sea, paz, pues, pero es que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Bueno, no sé si se pronuncia así. Pays. De paz, teacher, paz, paz, paz. Ah, you mean peace? <laughs> bueno. Ah, I, mean, I, was, I, was, I was relating the verb pay, de pagar, o pay, de, <laughs> no. de pagar. <laughs> No me haga reír, eh, eh, Ceci, que todavía me duele la cirugía. Ay, lo siento. All right, okay. Uh, how much peace do you have? Yes. I have very little peace. If that question <laughs> is to me, I have very little peace. Man. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, Ceci. <laughs> okay, teacher. 
Good. Who's next? How much co coffee you drink? Repeat again, Mario. How much coffee you drink? How much coffee? You drink. Do you drink, Mario? Do you drink? Do you drink? Ah, okay. If that question is to me, Mario, I can say, I drink a lot of coffee. I love coffee, man. I drink really coffee. Okay. I am. Inclusive, me dijeron, I no tome café por la dieta. Yo así como, ¿cuál dieta? De la coffee. De la dieta. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, coffee, I mean, man. It's, it's all the time. No, I mean. No sé qué es dieta de café, así que. Right. Cool, Mario. Good question. Judith? How much homework is there? How much homework is there? Yeah. Okay, good, good question, Judith. I can say. There is a lot of homework. No, but I, I, I know, man, you're very responsible. And I know you have already finished until homework number five, right? In the platform. Yo sé que no me equivoco. Yo sé que ustedes son bien, bien estudiosos. Y sé que ya terminaron la, la, la tarea cinco de la plataforma. Yo solo voy a llegar ahora a hacer colecta de notas nada más. ¿Verdad? Puesto que la tarea 5 era para el lunes, así que, men, lunes, martes, like today is Wednesday, so I guess it's there, right? <laughs> ya vamos a ver quién, quién. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's continue then. Patricia. You made your question, Patricia. Teacher, ¿puedes poner la laminita de los ejemplos, por favor? <laughs> no lo alcancé a copiar. <laughs> All right. It, there you have. Yes. Don? Yeah, gracias. Mm. Ah, but give me your answer, your question. Mm. No, teacher, no tengo ejemplo. I will give you the chance. Le voy a preguntar después. Ahorita voy por Guadalupe. Ah, la otra Guadalupe, you see, <laughs> you're Guadalupe, right? Now, Guadalupe no es mi. Give me your answer, I mean, your answer, your question, Guadalupe. Uh, how much does your tooth hurt? How much does that... your tooth hurt? Tooth, no sé si así se pronuncia. Muela, <laughs> ah, 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 I mean, if you say, give me one second. If you say tooth, it's only tooth. one. It's only one. Tooth. Teeth, tooth. it's two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. blah. And you say, how much does your does tooth? tooth? Le ves? Que ¿Le si ves? Le duele mucho. Okay, I can say it hurts so much. <laughs> oh, very much. Okay, <laughs> thank you for your question, Guadalupe. Yeah, man. No, man, I, I have been under medication with these things. And, uh, ah, man, yeah, I mean, it's horrible. It's really horrible. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yes. 
Podría poner otra vez la pregunta que acaba de borrar. Ok. Yeah. okay. No yeah. el control ahí. <ríe> Let me see. Control Z. No, me no funciona. Ok. How much? <ríe> es que siento que está como bien enredada. No sé por qué. Ajá. Siento que está como bien enredada. Why? How much does your tooth hurt? ¿Qué tanto le duele el diente? Mm -hmm. ah. And I have very options on it. It hurts. Como es uno, es singular. Recuerden, por eso el verbo hurt va con S. It hurts very much. It hard a lot. It hurts not that much. And you got a variety of options to answer that question, okay? Y acá pues tenemos una diversidad de respuestas para responder a esa pregunta. Okay, let me see. Ruth, it said, how much water do you drink a day? I drink a lot of water a day. And that will be the answer. Thank you for your question, Ruth. I mean, Ruth, what, 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 what do you have, Ruth? Uh, you, you say you're sick. You got flu? ¿Tiene gripe, Ruth? Mm. Oh, man, Jesus. That's nice. No, no nice en el aspecto de, 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 de que esté enferma, sino que... Eh. Mm. Pero muy fuerte. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, man. Si para algo soy bien, 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 en, 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 en you say, ah, que llorón el teacher. Si soy bien llorón, man, es para la gripe, así. Y para el dolor de muela. Nunca en mi vida me había dolido la muela, una muela, un diente, por así decirle. Nunca en mi vida me había abierto así todo. Parecía carnicería eso. Ah, bueno, that's crazy. Ok, good. Let me see. Jorge, do you have your question? My question is, how much jobs do you have? But Jorge, job is, is, oh, uh, is countable. Or how, uh, or how many, how many jobs do you have? Okay, that's acceptable. A pesar que es contable, that's acceptable, okay. I'm gonna write it down in here. It says, how many jobs do you have? If I take it personally, I can say, I have three jobs. Like this. All right? And this is countable, okay? Good. I am giving my personal answer to that question. Okay. All right, guys, thank you for your questions. All right, and now let's move. Okay, this was the second topic uh, that we were discussing last week. Teacher. Yes. Uh, ya tengo mi pregunta. Ah, okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> How much higher do you lose per day? I can say I, lo I lose, lose in this case, because it's simple present, lose. I lose very few hair per day. Okay. Back in the time, man, yeah, I mean, I was losing a lot of hair. 
But then, <laughs> yo dije, ah, chido. Yo me voy a quedar sin, sin, sin pelo, sin cabello. Nada, but, pero cuando vi que nunca se acababa, así que, ah, bueno. Creo, bueno, que, na nuevo. <laughs> creo, creo que nace y vuelve a caerse, nace y vuelve a caerse y así va la cosa. Pues, pues, que... Y yo así como que, ah, pues, yo no me voy a peinar. <laughs> que no me va a estar en champú. <laughs> no, besides that, man, I'm the, type of, I'm the type of person that is lazy about going to the barber shop because I don't go to the barber shop since like two months ago, man. I mean, it was last time I went, it was on, uh, on June. June, July, August, September, October. Mm, yeah, man, kind of, kind of like that. <laughs> I'm kind of lazy about going to the barber shop. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Now, let's take a look at the topic. Have to and has to. All right, Peter. What do we remember about this topic? When do we use have to? Let me see if you remember. ¿Cuándo usamos esa estructura? ¿Y en qué momento lo usamos? ¿Para qué lo utilizamos? Tell me. Vienen fríos, people. Mucho tiempo de vacación tuvieron. Bueno, es sección For... de Ruth, ¿verdad? Porque está, está enfermo. Ajá. Ajá. For obligations. For obligations. Yes. Ah, ok. Good, good. Thank you, Guadalupe. Alguien que me podría dar un ejemplo, por favor. Dándome una obligación. Oh, my God. Me, teacher. You have to go to the dentist. <laughs> don't remind me that, Mario. Please, don't remind me that. I had to go on Friday, man. I had to go on Friday. And you know what? Y me dice... No, me dice, por lo menos tiene que estar unos cinco días sin hablar demasiado, bla, 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 bla. Me la arrancaron el lunes, me iba ahorita ya dando clase y hablando como perico acá. That's funny. No, but the thing is that it doesn't hurt that much now. In comparison to yesterday and the day before yesterday, man, that was horrible. That was really horrible. Nah. Okay, but thank you for, for, for the... For the sentence, Maria, it is. Um, I have to buy tortillas every day. <laughs> that's, that's your obligation, it is. <laughs> buy, buy tortillas. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Good, good. How many? How many cores de tortillas do you buy, man? One dollar. Ah, man, you eat, you eat a lot. <laughs> no, teacher. Um, right. uh, our expense is... <laughs> ah, really? Es también cara solamente. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> how many tortillas <laughs> do they give you for one dollar? Quiero ver. Uh, 12 tortillas. Dos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm doing math, man. I'm doing math in here. <laughs> it's tan caras. Yeah, I mean, it's kind, kind of a little bit expensive. Aunque hay unas zonas en los Zulután que me atrevo, man, a decir que El otro día, yo así como que, ah, me da un dólar de tortillas y, y me salen con 10 tortillas. Y yo así como que, señor. Y así como que, y el maíz que lo procesan o qué, qué le echan a la tortilla, trae vitamina o qué le... No, ya esto está subiendo, me En el cuartel ah, de la república le dijeron eso. El, exactly, man. And I was like, no, pues no, mire, no me ajusta. Le, y salí, man, a la otra señora de la esquina. Me dio 16 y yo así como que, ja, sí, seguro. Ya, yeah, mens, iban a ser seis menos, así que nada. 
Yes, man. The, <laughs> the thing is that there are some people that like they like to abuse about that. Hay muchos que les gusta abusar de, de, de que eh, los precios van para arriba y ellos se adelantan a las, a las cosas. Sí. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, man. But you're good with your dollar de tortillas, man. I mean, that's nice. Okay, good. That's an obligation. Judith, what is an obligation that you have? I have to cook breakfast. No, okay. Well, that's an obligation. If you don't cook, you don't eat. It's it. <laughs> okay, good, good. Roberto, what about you? Uh, I have, I have clean the house. <laughs> Me escucha, teacher. Sí. Yes, man. And we're uh, waiting for your obligation. I have clean. I have um, to. I have to clean the house. You have to clean the house. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who do you live with? Hello? Who do you live with? With my brothers. And you're the responsible of cleaning the house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. That's an obligation. Okay, nice, nice. Let me see. Who else is missing for me? Jorge, give me one obligation, Jorge, for you. I have to study. English from Monday to Friday. Mm, okay, good man, good, perfect. That's an obligation. And for the rest, it's just an option, right? Yeah, I mean, perfect. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, for me, obligation, right? teacher. Why is it an obligation, man? Okay, good. That's an obligation for you. Nice. Let's take a look at it. As you said in here, it's used to show obligation, as you were saying, people. Mario, read the sentence. I have to do the homework. Uh, okay, good. Specifically, I have to do the homework number five, it says, right? It's finished. <laughs> Patricia I have to wash the clothes mm. Ah, that was yours, right? Okay, good Thank you Now, read the one that is on the screen, please You sick, Patty? Jesus Christ, everybody's sick. Perdón, teacher. No escuché. Are you sick? Mm, no entiendo, teacher. Are you sick? ¿Está enferma? No, es alergia, teacher. Ah. Mm. Está así como, no, teacher, es alergia. Sí, <laughs> aquí. Oh, my God. <laughs> Todos estamos sufriendo de diferentes modos. ¿no? Imagínense, mm. los que están trabajando ahorita, bueno, supongo que están trabajando, right? Los que nunca me encienden la cámara. Uh, eh, algunos tienen gripe. Bueno, Ruth. Oh, my God, Ruth. Ni se ha bañado, miren, pobrecita. Sorry, Ruth. Y pues todos sufrimos de diferentes modos. Yo con mi diente todo inflamado. I mean, you say, I mean, we... we suffer from different ways right good okay it says you have to work eight hours 
that's an obligation that we got in our jobs, right? That is an obligation. Oh my God, check this out. Roberto, help me out reading this. She has to send the package, what do you say? Package. Package. Packages. Packages. Packages, okay. Thank you, thank you. And I'm going to end up in this one. Look, he has to write a report. Recuerden, en tercera persona o singulares, ya es cuando aplicamos el has to. You have to, es más que todo, primera, segunda y plurales. All right, remember that. And we got the last one, Ceci. Hello. Tell me a reading, please. They have to go to the supermarket. Ah, okay, very good. They have to go to the supermarket. Good. Those ones are obligations that we, all right, in this case, need to do, people, okay? All right, good. I will give you some time for you to copy those examples and then we're gonna move on. Let me know when you finish, okay? Copien los ejemplos y me hacen saber cuando terminen. Judith, it's not raining anymore there. It is not raining there anymore? Uh, no. ¿Ya no está lloviendo? No. Mm, okay. Solamente uh, llovió como 30 minutos. Bien poco. Ah, uh, really? Mm. Yeah. Ay, pero aquí llovió horrible. All right, guys, do you finish? Okay, good. Yes, this Let's move. Have to in negatives. One question. Tiene la misma función la estructura have to cuando lo usamos en negativo? Does it have the same function to show obligation? Yes or no? Any volunteer that tells me that? Algún voluntario? Yes, teacher. Tiene la misma función de obligación? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can apoya a Judith? Quien diga yo. Nobody, amen. Nobody supporting you, you need. Jesus Christ. You don't have friends in here, you see? It is. You're Judith's best friend. Are you going to tell her that she is correct or no? Yes, she's my friend, uh, but Judith, you oh can repeat. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. My my two heart. <laughs> okay. Judith, repeat what you said, Judith. Can you repeat that? Uh huh. Repeat what you said. Uh, you have to negative uh, for obligation. She says, Ceci, that we can use have to in negatives for obligations. Do you agree? Está de acuerdo? Um, creo que sí, quiero usar un comodín. ¿Cuál sería su comodín? ¿Qué creo dice el público? Creo saber. <risa> ¿Qué dice el... Ajá, ajá. Choose one of your friends, no problem. Choose one of your classmates. <risa> quiero ver, Patty. <risa> Yo digo que no representa obligación, igual que como have to en positivo, teacher. It doesn't represent an obligation. Mm -hmm. Ah, so Sassy, listening that from Patty, do you agree with uh, Judy? Ay, <risa> no estoy segura, teacher. La verdad, no, no recuerdo bien. Tengo sueño. ¿Puedo parar en echar de cabeza a la amiga? Bro? No. Ah. Judith, I love you. She's, she's lying, Judith. She's lying to you. Ok, listen. <laughs> have to. Have to. In negatives, does not represent an obligation. No representa okay. una obligación. Más bien representa... ¿Qué representa, Mario? Mario, I know Mario was paying attention to me. Oh, my God, my oh, Jesus. Mario was sleeping. Man. Mario, ¿qué representa...? ¿Qué representa have to en negativo, Mario? Ya me he contagiado de estar oyendo, estoy viendo, me he eh, Bueno, algo que no tenemos obligación de hacer. O sea, por ejemplo, yo, yo le podría decir, este, I don't have to get up early. Entonces sería voluntad, teacher. Uh, no voluntad. Teacher, sería eh, más bien a uh, yeah, Catherine. Una, un tipo una limitación. Viene siendo como una limitación o más bien una opción. Oh, option. Okay. It represents an option. Look. Es dije yo. Ajá, ajá. Yeah, sure. <laughs> It says It's used to indicate a choice. O sea, una opción. Not obligation. Okay. For example, check this out. Kevin, help me at reading this example. Present teacher. Uh, uh, Mister, yeah, me. Tell me at reading the example. Uh, I do have to do the teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you, mister. I don't have to do... Ay, mi muela. I don't... Digo, mi ancilla. I don't have to do the dishes. Listen up. In this case, it's not an obligation, okay? <laughs> it's mostly an option. An option. A choice. Aquí, pues, ya estamos hablando de que más bien de no una obligación, sino más bien una opción, ¿ok? Una opción. Good. It's like, ah, me, no tengo que lavar los platos. Así que, ah, depende de mí si lo hago o no. 
y como soy yo, digo no. Ok. Roberto, tell me a reading. Robert, are you there? Okay, sorry. <laughs> you you don't have to wear uh, a uniform. Ah, okay, good. You don't have to wear a uniform. Okay, mm -hmm. good. You are not representing in that case an option, right? Aquí pues ya no estamos representando una opción. Digo una obligación, sino una opción. Ok. Next. Catherine. She doesn't have to play the guitar. Ah, ok. Very good. She doesn't have to play the guitar. Good. That's an option. Very good, Catherine. Now, next, Jorge. He doesn't have to study much. Okay, he doesn't have to study math. Math. Very good. So those ones are options. Remember people, for you, no obligation, okay? Guadalupe, read the next. Example. Okay. Say so don't have to drive a car. Okay, good. They don't have to drive a car. Good. It's like, I mean, ellos no tienen que manejar un carro. Very good, people. We were discussing about the options. Okay. I mean, the obligations using positive statements. Now, what about the choices that you got people. Could you please give me one example based on this? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo personal basado en esto? En algo que sea una lección para ustedes y no una obligación. Could you please give me one example? Teacher, perdón, ¿de una obligación o de una no. opción? One option. Option. Okay. In negative. Se le fue la señal, Ceci. Hello. No, ya le volvió. Se le fue de nuevo. Y se fue. Ok. Let me know when you finish. Mientras terminan, paso asistencia a la segunda de la noche. Give me one second. Uh, don't have to work tonight. No obligation. Ok. Good, good. We were giving you good uh, sentences. I mean, I didn't know you were there, Oscar. Good. I'm going to include you in the participations. Okay, let's start over. Gabriel Esaú. Okay, got it there. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay. Iris Cecilia. Se le fue el internet. José Moise, Moisés. Presente. Ok, Mr. Judith Maribel. Present. Ok. Carla Ivania.
All right, she was there. Carla Lorena. Present. Ah, okay. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. All right. Kevin Ramiro. Karina. Karina. Okay, I guess it's there. Maria Elena. Okay, Kevin. Present. All right, good. Marilyn Alejandra. All right, she's not there. Mario Ernesto. Present. Good. Monica Maricela. All right, she's not there. Oscar Armando. Uh, I guess you're there, Oscar, pero no, les, no se le escucha. Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. All right. Ros Guadalupe. Okay, good. Santos Cristina, which is not here. And Jocelyn Stephanie, which is working. All right. Okay, Oscar. <laughs> good example, Ruth. I don't have to take a bath, it says. Yes, ma'am, porque se desgasta el cuerpo. Yes. Aparte, si se ahorra agua, jabón, shampoo, and all those things. Good. Amen. Good, me, Carla. Present en esa All right. Good. Jorge, read yours. No me, di, no me pasó asistencia, tío. Aquí yes, estoy. Mister. <laughs> Será que no o no es o no o no me escuchó o yo no lo mencioné. Una, Veamos. Uh -huh. Una de dos, teacher, pero sí no no, no escuché. Exacto. No, ahora ya lo tengo en asistencia. Acá está, ya tengo el puntito suyo acá. Ok. Bueno, pero aprovechando que ya me habló, léame su ejemplo. <risa> um, I don't have to play soccer tomorrow. Ah, ok, very good. I don't have to play soccer tomorrow. Thank you, mister. That's good. Patty. I don't have to do the laundry. Perfect. Roberto. I don't have to work the weekend. I don't have to work on weekend. On weekend. Good, good. Good for you, man. Good for you. Judy. I don't have to start company purchases. Mm, okay. Good, good. Guadalupe. I don't have to wash tomorrow. Uh -huh, okay. Good. Ruth dice, no me tengo que bañar, I don't have to take a shower, good Ruth, perfect. Mario? I don't have to get to get up early. early. <sighs> Just almost lost, man. I'm not gonna wake up early tomorrow. That's what I think. <laughs> yes, I because, I because I, I did uh, three minutes of four miles. Qué suerte tienen algunos, pero <risa> yo todavía estoy incapacitado. Ok, good, good. Thank you, Mario. Let me see. 
Kagerin. What's what's in here, man? Kagerin. Give me your 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 example. I don't have to cook the dinner. Dinner. Yes, because uh, I am in a class. My husband doesn't eat. I'm rushing in so many I mean, your husband doesn't eat because you have a class. Yes. Doesn't he cook? Hey. Me? No, him. Yes. Ah, he cooks. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. Me, yeah, I'm still learning. It's like me and my wife. I mean, <laughs> uh, he always teach me how to cook, and I forget everything. And I forget everything. The, 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 the day after she taught me something, I forget completely everything. <laughs> okay, thank you, Catherine. Let me see who Jose. Yeah, Jose. I don't have to working out tomorrow. To work to work out tomorrow. Yeah, okay. All right. Working out. Uh in this case without ng ing, okay. In this case, le vamos a eliminar el ing, Jose. Work out. Work out, work out, work out. You mean to do exercise, right? Jesus. And and I was apparently, y, y, y se, según, según mis, mis predicciones, esta iba a ser mi semana fit o iba a comenzar al gimnasio. Se me vino lo del mi diente, así que se pospone hasta para el otro mes. Anyways. Así se ha venido posponiendo y pues... Ya el ya otro casi, mes. Ya casi pasamos el año, aún así, en las mismas. <risa> no, el otro mes, no, tenemos que, tenemos que bajar 10 libros el otro mes para recuperarlas en 24 y 31. You know, the food is coming. Y comienza en enero otra vez. ¿no? Ah, exactly, exactly. Con buena energía y actitud. Nos vamos a ver en módulo 5, man. That's, that's going to be cool. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Ceci, give me your sentence. Oh my God. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, I have to. Hello. Yes, I'm listening okay. to you. Uh, I don't have to cook three times every day. Ah, okay. Good. How many times a day do you cook, Ceci? Uh, sometimes two times. Sometimes... Uh, Zero times? Uh, um, <laughs> sí. Yes. Maruchan. Jesus, what a good food, man. Pero no la quema, ¿verdad? No quema la maruchan. All right. That is cool. That's cool. Okay, people. Remember, don't have to represent what? Represents a choice, not obligation. Perfect. Let's continue. Okay. Now let's take a brief look at the path to using in questions. Okay. And take a look at these questions using have to. Judith, help me read. 
What time do you have to go to work? Okay, good. What time do you have to go to work? Roberto? I, I have to work at 7 a.m. Repeat again, Roberto. I have to work to work. <laughs> I have to work to go to work at 7 a.m. ¿Qué fue eso de to work to work, man? <laughs> <laughs> You're sleeping. <laughs> okay. okay, good, good. It says, I have to go to work at 7 a.m. Okay, good. Good, check this out. Mario, the question. Where does he have to spend the package? Ah, okay, very good. Where does she have to send the package? Good. Jose, read the answer. She has to send the package to San Diego. Uh, Jose, I think you have problems with the with the microphone. Jose. Hello. Mister, eh, mire, se le escucha pero bien entrecortado, José. Y bien suave. No sé si es problema de audio o de conectividad. ¿Usted me escucha bien, José? No, ok, creo que sí tiene problemas de, de, de audio o de internet. Ok, let's, let's continue with this. Catherine, help me reading the answer, please. She has to send to pa package mm -hmm. to San Miguel. Okay, there you go. She has to send the package to San Miguel. There you go. Let's continue. Okay. Those who are doing the uses of uh, the microphone are being nice. Okay. Good. Me escucha entonces, Jose, pero no se le escucha mucho en el audio. No sé si hay, es problema de, de, de conectividad. Let's see. Okay. Now, the uses of Ken. What do we use can for? Recuerden, cuando lo usamos en una yes no question, es básicamente lo usado para pedir información, to ask for information. Like in this case, this type of questions. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oscar, help me read Puede compartir la página anterior, por favor. Ok, Oscar, give me one second. Ahorita, Oscar. Ahí está, Oscar. Ahora, teacher. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, ahora sí. Eh, ok. Ajá, mister, réame, léame esta. Can I play the piano? Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Can I play the piano? It says, remember, this is a yes, no question, okay? It says, Patty. No, teacher. Perdón, la respuesta, dicha. Yes. No, you can't, you can't play the piano. No, you can't. You can't play the piano. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Next question. 
check this out. Let me see who can help us out. Catherine. Mm. Can you play soccer? Ah, okay, good. Ceci. Hello. Read the answer. Yes, I can. I can play soccer. No, okay, perfect, perfect. Next question. Oscar, do you have good your, your, your audio, mister? Can you read this question? Are you speaking, Oscar? Porque no se la escucha, mister. Mm, creo que tenemos problemas de audio, Oscar. Porque si me está hablando, no se la escucha nada. Okay. Uh, let me see. Jorge, tell me a reading, please. Where can she store the products? Okay. Where can she store the products? En ese caso ya no estamos hablando de una information question. I mean, I mean, de una just no question. Okay. In this case, it's an information question using a WH word. And what do we have here? Uh, we got a complete answer. Guadalupe, tell me a reading. He can store the products in the warehouse. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you. Give me one second. Ah, okay. Cool. Very good. Uh, are you taking notes about this? ¿Está tomando nota? ¿O puedo pasar ya de una vez? Can I move? Okay, perfect. Now, right after these people, let's just be going to. When do we just be going to? ¿Para qué usamos be going to? A ver, para los que estuvieron conmigo el viernes en clase. What do you remember, guys? Lo recordamos. Cuando son acciones a futuro. Ah, ok. Thank you, Roberto. Yes, what he's saying is true. We use we going to, to talk about future actions. Ah, you see? It's used to talk about future actions. Examples. Check this out. Judith, help me a reading. It used to talk about future action. Um, I am going to go to the meeting next week. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. Mario. Hello. Read the second example, mister. You are going to send the resume tonight. Resume tonight. Tonight. Okay, good, good. Jose? Uh, he is not going to work next month. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see next. Jesus, I don't know what to choose from. Catherine? She is not going to send a text message. Ah, okay, very good. She yeah. is not going to send a text message. Very good. So these ones are positive statements and negative statements, okay? Positives and negatives. Remember that, okay? Good. I will move on because I need to uh, show you 
the general questions and information questions using this structure. So let's move. Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta. Esta uh -huh. con, con respecto al will, estas son acciones a futuro, pero que estamos seguros que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Correcto. Son como proyección. Correcto. En cambio, el will son... son, son es más son. impredecible. La única diferencia, uh -huh. bueno, hay varias. Hay varias diferencias entre will y be going to. Pero la más notable es que be going to es para acciones que usted planea. ¿Ok? A corto, mediano o largo plazo. Will es para acciones que usted eh, lo hace de manera sin planear, de manera espontánea. Más que todo. It's pretty similar to what you said, Jose. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's move. We're going to with information questions. For example, check this out. Ceci, help me out reading this one. Um, what time are you going to listen to the WhatsApp audio? Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Check this out, Jorge. I am going to listen to the WhatsApp audio at 3 p.m. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Next question, Guadalupe. When, when is his, no, when is he going to buy a new truck? Okay, thank you, thank you. When is he going to buy a new truck, it says. Roberto? He is going to buy a new truck next month. Next month, okay, very good. Recuerden que acá inclusive nos podemos guiar por las time expressions o expresiones de tiempo expresando futuro. En este caso, a 3 p.m. Esa es una expresión a futuro, ¿ok? Siempre y cuando tomando eh, como base en qué momento del día estemos. Uh, next month, that's also a future expression, ¿ok? Good people, good. Any question up to now, people? Hasta acá, alguna pregunta? O oh, everything is clear? O todo está claro? Is everything okay, people? No, okay, perfect. If everything is okay, I'm gonna stop sharing this thing in here. I'm gonna stop sharing here. And now let's go into the manuals. Ahora vamos a los manuales. I want you to go to page 17 in your manual. Let's go specifically to this page. Give me one second. No, man, this, this is not the page I want you to, to, to check. Ah, uh, it's this one. It's this one. Uh, I, I don't know if, 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 it, if this thing looks like it is. Así, así les aparece a ustedes esta, esta sopa de letras. Yes. Así está, no se distingue. Uy, Jesus Christ. Ah, pues no. Olvídense de esto. No lo voy a poner a trabajar acá porque ni yo no entiendo esto. <laughs> The letters are weird. Están raras las letras. Ok, pero esto sí lo vamos a trabajar. Listen up. I'm going to explain what are we going to do here. It says vocabulary practice. Write down three fixtures and three products. Ask a partner to describe them. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Vamos a, vamos a escoger acá tres productos. Puede ser un TV, puede ser TVs, puede ser uh, what? Tablets, computers. Acá en uh, features. Me le van a poner ya sea dimensions, weight, and uh, well, price. Puede ser precio también. Aquí serían características y acá sería el nombre del producto. En este caso, podemos tomar como base la que tenemos acá más arriba. Esta. Más o menos así. ¿Ok? 
la idea es, ahí ustedes son libres si, de, si poner acá las, las, los nombres o acá, así como está acá. All right? Pero más o menos así, en this case. Es lo que vamos a hacer en esta parte. Ok, good. Acá podemos poner el producto o lo podemos poner acá. Si acá ponen el producto acá, aquí vamos a poner la característica de ese producto. Ok, si estamos hablando de un televisor, recuerden, lo medimos por pulgada. Ok, eh, puede pesar tantas libras. Y acá podemos poner las unidades o el precio. Ok, good. ¿Comprendemos lo que vamos a hacer acá en esta parte? ¿O do you have any question? No? Ok, good. I guess you don't have any question. Everything is ok. Ok, in here, what are we going to do here? Vamos a bajar, nomás terminemos esa parte y acá dice, write a question to match each answer. Acá tenemos una serie de respuestas. ¿Qué necesitamos? We need the questions. For example, si acá yo digo, I have 50 boxes of thread, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Por cierto, la pregunta acá se rige por nombres contables e incontables. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta acá? How, how do you 50 uh, boxes of thread? Oh más o menos como dijo él, pero me falta lo que acaba de decir Mario. How many? How many? Ah. Para decir cuántos. How many? Boxes. Boxes of thread. Of thread. Do you? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Ahí tienen el verbo, cada verbo lo tienen en la respuesta. El verbo que van a usar en la pregunta. Do you? How? Exactly. How many boxes of bread do you have? Ah, you see? How many boxes of bread do you have? It says, I have 50 boxes of bread. In that case, depending, okay? Si el nombre es incontable, será con how much. Recuerden. Y si es contable, ¿cómo será? How, how many. Exactly, exactly. Right? Remember. Entonces, en este caso, así es como me van a trabajar estas, estas respuestas, ¿ok? Van a crear la pregunta a partir de la respuesta que tienen ahí. Good. I'm going to delete this one because you got to do it, ¿ok? Good. After you finish that one, no más terminemos esa, nos vamos a bajar acá en esta otra. ¿Qué tenemos que hacer acá? Miren, si Judith trabaja con Roberto, por ejemplo, acá Judith va a poner el nombre de Roberto y acá el nombre de ella. Roberto acá puede poner el nombre de Judith y acá el nombre de él. O si son tres, lo vamos a hacer de este modo. Si Roberto, Judith y Guadalupe están trabajando, Roberto va a poner acá a Guadalupe y a Judith. Guadalupe va a poner a Roberto y... Y, y, y cómo le sigue. El caso es que acá me van a llenar con el nombre de una persona. Acá, have to. Las actividades que tienen que hacer en su trabajo. Las actividades que no tienen que hacer en su trabajo. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que vamos a llenar acá. ¿Me pueden mencionar acá? Acá dice, how many ask to different partners about the activities they had, they had to do at their workplace. Con dos actividades cada uno está bien. ¿Ok? Two activities. Y eso sería todo, people. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? Ok, perfect. Let me see. I just need to know who is able to the practice. Vamos a ver. ¿Quiénes vamos a la práctica? ¿Podrían ponerme un pulgar arribita, por favor, para poder crear los breakout rooms? 
y no enviarlos con alguien que no me vaya a estar trabajando. José, ok. Aparte de José, Jorge, ok. Katy, are you participating? Katherine. No. Mm, el problema es que no sé si me va a dejar entrar. Ya, vamos a ver si entra. Tiene que, tiene que. Ok, vamos a ver. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Usted es la del problema que nunca entra. Nunca la deja entrar. <risa> no es que no quiera entrar, es que no me deja la aplicación. Sí, esa era la, esa, esa era la, la frase que estaba buscando. <risa> ok, let me see. Uh, bueno, vamos a poner a Guadalupe que vaya a escuchar por ahí. Jesus Christ, let me see for some. Oh. Give me one second, people. I am going to include three people in one. Este grupo va a ir cargado, pero creo que muchos están trabajando, así que. Let me see. Bueno, probemos estos. Ok, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Try out, Catherine. Inténtelo esta vez. Nada, Catherine. Sublime, Catherine, sublime. Ya pudimos entrar. Sí, cuando quiere funciona y cuando no, no. Ya ve, ya ve. Perfect, perfect. Okay. okay, so you got three people here. I mean, you got two people here with you. You got Mario and Jorge, okay? Okay. Nice. Manual. Yes. You see, your best friend is down here. I'm talking to you, you. I included her and she is not here. Okay. Let's see. I think she has problems with the internet. It's possible. <laughs> Acá podemos poner eh, dimensión como característica, como característica eh, podemos poner Make 
Y qué proceso. <risa> Hola, teacher. Buenas Hola, noches. hola. Ay. Teacher, una consulta. Yes. Aquí vamos a poner los tres productos. Eh, pueden poner cualquier producto, ya sea un televisión, tablet, computer. Ok. Y en las... Eso lo vamos a poner vertical, digamos. Y en, las, en las features, ajá, pueden ponerlos en esa zona. Ya sea horizontal, vertical, como ustedes gusten. Eso sí que al opuesto tienen que poner las características eh, basados en, la, en, en el cuadro que mostré que eh, está más arriba. Ustedes van a encontrar un cuadro de esos más arriba. Humor, está un par de páginas arriba. Ahí está. Por ejemplo, pueden mencionar weight, es peso. Dimension, las dimensiones. Y quantity, la cantidad. Uh -huh. Pueden tomar esas también. Ok, perfecto. ¿Ah? Ok, está bien. Gracias, dicho. Ok. Ok. Voy a buscar. Sure. Uh -huh. Pero no sé si se le congeló la pantalla. Yo no, ya no veo que se mueva. ¿Qué yo? Me tenía encendida la cámara. No, yo no. Es que yo, yo veo que, según yo veo, se quedó en el segundo producto. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál podemos ver? En Bed. Bed. Uh -huh. Sería washer, washer, kitchen. I'm gonna look for a share for this computer. Give me one second, people. Washer, pero wash it in machine, machine, a washing machine. Machine, 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 Machine. Okay. Machine. Vaya. <coughs> Dimensiones. Eh, las características serían aquí. Dimensiones. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Eh, ya te voy a dar de comer para abajo y ahí sería eh, ahí sería el Wait. peso Wait. 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 La mayoría de veces un año tienen de garantía. Uno, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Las horas. Igual. La computadora. Bueno, le dejamos dos. Las cámaras. 
tahun. Hmm, C. Nak marah orang. La cantidad. La cantidad. Unas 30 cámaras. Cincuenta computadoras. Cincuenta computadoras. Y celulares. Estamos hablando de uno de uno punto tres, más o menos, uno punto tres. Uno punto tres inch. Inch. Y el peso aquí dice ciento treinta y dos punto nueve kilogramos. ¿Cuánto? Ciento treinta y dos punto nueve. Kilogramos. Ah, pero kilogramos es así, teacher. O sea, kilogramos. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Va. Ah, pues entonces, bueno, con los demás sería de... Uh -huh. Digamos que la TV... Eh... La de 32 dice que es de 81.3 centímetros, pero es de 32 pulgadas. ¿De cuántos, de cuántos de cuántas pulgadas? 32. Pero, ¿y de centímetros? 81.3 centímetros. Uh, ese, ese, esa frase de wife que tienen en medio, ¿por qué no mejor la cambian por dimension? No, esa estaba bien, la de en medio, la, la de en medio, la de en medio, es porque ese es peso. Wave, el de en medio. That one. Dimension. Uh -huh. um, bueno, inventémosle un, eh, digamos que sea de, de uno, uno punto cinco. No sé, tienen que ser val pueden ser valores inventados, teacher. Yes, yes. Sí. Exacto. Okay. Ahí el peso es de 5.9 kilogramos. Uh -huh. El peso de la TV. Ajá. ¿De cuánto es? 5.9 kilogramos. 5.4. 9. ¿Y el del microondas? Micro. Digamos que este sea de 2. De 2 y algo tiene que ser. De 2. Pero la... Uh -huh. 35. Uh -huh. más, más pesada que la cama. ¿Podría ser? Es de madera pura. De, de, de cedro. Algo es 35. Uh -huh. Y dos metros. ¿Y el precio? Eh, 
¿sabes? ¿Cuándo? Como solo es una más. Cámara. Uh -huh. Vale. The washing machine. Igual tiene alto. Tiene alto antes. Mm, mm, vaya un alto de 1.11 metros o 111 centímetros Alto, Largo. alto, alto, ¿cómo sería? Alto, de ancho serían 68 centímetros y profundidad. 65.5 centímetros con un peso de 53.3 kilogramos ¿cuánto peso? 53.3 kilogramos y el peso sí más ¿cuánto le ponemos? 450 dólares o 400 450 uh -huh. ok ok siguiente contables y no contables Esta es la siguiente. Uh -huh. Esta es la segunda, porque la primera ya está. Ah, la primera es How many boxes of street do you have? La segunda dice Ellos tienen Ellos tienen Tienen algunos indicadores. Yo creo que es por más. Ajá, por más. Por más. Por más. El sum es algunos. Entonces sería uh -huh. how much floor cleaner. How much. Uh -huh. uh, uh, some floor, floor cleaner. Uh -huh. How much. How much. How much. How Hello. Hello. Por lo, que, por lo que veo, su compañera tiene problemas de conexión. Se le, se le fue la señal. Sí, creo que se le fue la señal, cabrón. Ah. Y proyeven por la segunda parte, ¿correcto? Sí, ahí vamos por las. Eh, elaborar las preguntas. Mm, ok. Ok. Entonces esperemos que les pueda entrar. Sí. 
Ok. Hello, people. Hola, teacher. Estamos a señas con Oscar. <risa> sí, es que no tiene micrófono. Uh, se le fue bajando de a poquito el volumen y ya no. Ya no se escucha mucho. No, ya no se escucha nada. <risa> ok, eso es ok. Así que estamos a señas, no. teacher. All right. All right. <risa> Yeah, man, he can use the chat. Puede usar el chat. Sí, así es, aquí estamos. Ah, ok. Aquí estamos. Very good. Uh. Estamos, está correcto, sí. Tendría que ser. Pero, ¿cómo lo entiendo? Oh, my floor No, dos no, porque dos es solo para tercera persona. No, sí. Para he, she, it. Tendría que ser tú. Así. Do they have? Uh -huh. O solo. Así. No, do. Do. Do they have? One question, people. What? ¿Qué entienden por floor cleaners? Limpiador. Limpiadores de piso. Y si dice limpiadores de piso singular o plural. Ah, uh, plural. Ah, ya identificó el error, ¿verdad? Yes. You sure you identify the problem? Yeah, me quedé estoy tratando de analizar. <laughs> Hágame la pregunta en español, Catherine, sabiendo que eh, eh, floor cleaners significa limpiadores de piso. ¿Cuántos limpiadores de piso tienen? ¿Cómo? Tiene. ¿Cuántos? Y si dice Limpiador. cuántos. Y si dice cuántas, ¿qué significa how much? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto? Sin S. Porque es algo incontable, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces tiene que ser how many. Ok. Nada más está bien. Ya, yeah, ese era el único mistake. Lo demás todo está bien. Ok. Next. Mm. Hmm. Necesita dos galones para levantarse. Sí, sí. Él necesita dos galones de Oh. How many gallons? Ajá, entonces. Do we have my friends 
y la de Hugo y, y Ana y Hugo need a lot water. How much? Teacher, I'm. Yeah. Uh, can you help me? I'm number three. Yeah, I mean, I was about to say, why do you have that part like that? Okay, because it says, how many gallons of gas needs he has? Hmm. All right. In this case, eliminemos el he has. Elimin yeah, I need for the lead. Okay, vaya. Eliminemos need también. Okay. Vaya. How many gallons of gas does he ahora el verbo Ok, good. No, sin ese. Sin ese. La pregunta, pregunta es sin ese. La pregunta es sin ese. En respuesta yes, es sin ese. Yes, it's correct. Ok. Does he need for the left? Ya lo tiene ahí. ¿Para qué dice? Necesita para... ¿Cuántos el galones ascensor. de gas él necesita para el ascensor? Uh, ¿Mm? Good. Okay. La, la número dos, les, les sugiero igual. Okay. Revisar. How many floor cleaners? Does the... No, es tú. Exactly. <laughs> Today, um... Exactly. Do they have? How many floor cleaners do they have? Very good. Uh, no, en la número cuatro el verbo está mal. Mm. Mire, tiene have en la pregunta, pero mira la respuesta. ¿Cuál es el verbo? And how many packs of water, water bars do we want? Very good. That is the question. All right. I think people with this, we're going to continue by tomorrow because it's 10 10 basically. Prácticamente ya es ya 10, 10, así que creo que mañana vamos a continuar con eso porque no creo que la terminemos. Ok, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop sharing this thing and let's go to the main section, ok? See you there. Ok. okay. Then these people are not getting connected or what? Ah, no, I mean, they are coming. People, did you finish? Creo que eh, la gran mayoría no terminó. No sé si los demás terminaron. But listen up, people. By tomorrow, we're going to continue with this part. Okay. At the beginning of the class, we're going to start up with that thing. And we're going to be checking 
what you have besides what is missing to be done, okay? Mañana vamos a continuar parte con esto al inicio de la clase. Lo vamos a tomar como un método de retroalimentación para tratar de terminar lo que tenemos ahí en cuanto a, más que todas las preguntas, okay? That's going to be part of it because it's like, yeah, kind of late and I don't really want to have you here, all right, for a long time, right after 10. Uh, only one thing, people, solo una cosa. Para los que me deben la tarea 5, please, tratemos de, de ponernos al día con respecto a esa tarea esta noche, please, porque sí necesito subir eh, las notas, ok? Please. Uh, ok, Patricia. Perfect. Perfect. All right, people. So that's basically everything that we're going to be discussing for tonight. I'm going to pass the attendance list and then we're going to leave, okay? Give me one second. We got Gabriel Esaú, but he's not here. Uh, Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay. Iris Cecilia. I just see disconnected. Jorge Ismael. Uh, he's not here. Jose Moises. Mister, ya, ya tuvimos los 10 minutos, a los 10 minutos de feedback. No, cierto. José. Dígame. No lo hemos tenido, ¿verdad? El feedback. Eh, no. Ok, cool. Entonces esta noche eh, me quedo con usted, ok. Después de clase, please. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Uh, Judith Maribel. Present. Ah, ok. Good. Carla Ivania. Ok, Chisna Ver. Carla Mendoza. Carla Lorena. Mendoza. Ok, cool. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Cool, cool. Let's see. Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. Ok, María Elena. Mm, Marilyn Alejandra didn't show up. María Ernesto. Present. Ah, ok, good. Mm, let me see. Mónica Marisela. Schnader. Oscar Armando. Ay, mira, Oscar está ahí, pero no sé si todavía tiene problemas con el audio. I'm going to put that you're there. Uh, Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, good. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, good. Santos Cristina is not here. Jocelyn Stephanie. She was working, y para el que no se había conectado, Jorge Ismael. I am in his head. Okay, perfect people. So it was a pleasure to come back with you guys. Uh, see you tomorrow uh, in the beginning of the second week from this module number two. I mean, number two, number four, okay? Good people. Good night, everybody, okay? Uh, I'm going to stay with uh, da, 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 Jose. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Okay, Mister. Ah, uh, básicamente eh, esos diez minutos de, de retroalimentación o feedback básicamente es para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a las clases que hemos estado teniendo anteriormente y a esta clase. Okay, or algo simple well relacionado con la plataforma. So I don't know if you have any questions, Jose. Eh, por el momento no. No. Okay, cool. Eh, what about the platform? ¿Qué tal con la plataforma? ¿Cómo vamos? Eh, me falta hacer las tareas de la plataforma. Ah. Ajá. Solo que sí, ya con relación a las tareas, Mister, sería para ahora, fíjese. Necesito esas notas.
porque como ya esta sería la clase 5, y no sé si podría hacerla, pues, eh, digamos, lo más pronto posible, ya sea más tardar mañana, porque sí necesito esas notas ya para subirlas sí. al sistema. A más tardar mañana, mister. Nah. Ok, mister. Uh -huh. So, we're going to stay like that. Vamos a quedar así entonces. Ok. All right. Good, mister. So, you don't have any other questions related to the classes? No. Ah, uh, ok. Good. If you don't have any question, ok. Entonces lo dejo descansar si no tiene ninguna pregunta adicional, ok? See you tomorrow, mister. See you tomorrow, teacher. Ok, bye bye. Bye.